right, today's uh, today's project. It's actually finally a personal personal project for myself. I picked up this big block Chev a few years ago. I uh, bought it uh, bought it at a reasonable price. Um, uh, mostly, uh, mostly was after you know I knew I couldn't go wrong with the cylinder heads and uh, forged crank, but I didn't really know the history behind it. I knew who built it, and with what I'm going to show you here in a minute, it doesn't surprise me that something like this is done. But uh, I've never seen something so smooth brained, retired, room temperature IQ as what I'm going to show you in a minute here. Now we fired this thing up. Uh, I didn't have the heads off. I had the pan off and checked the mains and rods and everything before we fired it up. The one thing I didn't do was have the heads off. Uh, I knew the engine had been run. Um, so we checked the bottom end, swapped the oil pan for the application. It was going in. Everything uh, was basically brand new. Uh, fired it up and she blew a head gasket right out of her. Okay. Now that's a regular old Felpro gasket with the uh, with the valve reliefs, all right? Standard standard stuff. Uh, we get 990, 990 rec port heads, decent heads. Got some medium medium duty goodies here. We get uh, double springs and uh, guide plates and studs and everything. Uh, she's a solid roller motor. Uh, I think it's 255 at 50 and 260 or sorry. Uh, uh 650 lift so we're doing okay just even with the heads got a forge crank inner gm forge crank looks pretty good on the bottom end and what this idiot done is he's got an o-ring to block that's got stainless steel stainless steel raised fire rings installed in this block that's meant for copper head gaskets where there's a receiver groove in the head. You can see here on the head gasket. I mean, this never should have been assembled to start with in this, in this manner, but you can see clearly where the fire rings are interfering with each other. They're crushing into the gasket, the gasket's fire ring in the composite, and the fire ring is just hanging out, hanging out in the breeze in the cylinder here. This is just pure, pure idiocy i've never seen something like that so she's already uh she's already zero deck um this block has actually got some crash damage it's, i'd say it's been in an accident because the side motor mounts are broken off um, which was kind of okay i knew those were broke but it was for a marine application where it uh it sits on a front and rear motor plate but I'm planning on putting this in my square body. So uh, I do have a front motor plate uh, in the square body, but I also do use the side mounts. I think I'm not gonna rely on these side mounts. The block zero deck. So by the time I take the receiver grooves out, I'm gonna be 20, 25 thousandths out of the hole. Um, that's not any good. So I am guess I'm looking for a block. I really don't wanna put receiver grooves in these heads because that'll basically ruin those heads for anybody that wants them in a street a street application. Uh, copper gaskets and fire rings aren't needed until you're supercharged in alcohol and and whatnot. So these heads would be devalued if they were uh, receiver grooved for uh, copper gaskets. What a mess. Can't complain for what I paid for it, but you never know what kind of mess you're gonna inherit when somebody else does something like this. Anyways, we'll get her together at some point here. <laughs> 